Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. It's Tracy. Today's video, I'm going to be showing you what I won in a giveaway, and then I'm going to be showing you the sparkly fun makeup that I like to wear during the holiday season. I'm going to be zipping through them pretty quickly because a lot of them I've already shown on my channel. So I won this great giveaway from Heather Roses of Beauty 40 Plus. If you're not already subscribed to her channel, get over there and subscribe. No, she really has an amazing channel. She does a great review of the Tati palette. I'm not even going to try to do a better review than she did. If you really want to see an outstanding review of this palette, get over to her channel. I will link it below. I was so excited when I got this in the mail. But when I opened the box, I just, I don't know, the picture of her, I was taken aback for a second. I. I don't know, it's a weird picture. I just think she doesn't look her best and I think she should be smiling. This is Tati Westbrook's Tati Beauty Palette, Volume 1. It's cruelty free, it's vegan, it has metallic, sequins, and mattes. Heather, thank you so much. There's a lot more shiny sparkly makeup that's fun to wear for the holidays coming up. You know what, I'm just gonna leave this drawer open because if I close it, all you're gonna see are wires in the floor. Let's pretend I'm a real YouTuber. The first product I wanna show you is the Sephora Waterproof Retractable Eyeliner Pencil. It's relatively inexpensive. They have 19 shades all together. This is number 23 in shimmer bronze. Just as an eyeliner or all over your lid, that's a really professional looking swatch. It's really, really pretty and it stays put. And if you take off the little smudgy thing at the end, there's this really precise sharpener, even though it's a retractable pencil, very smooth and creamy. Next up, we have the Too Faced Glitter Pop Peel Off Eyeliner. And this one is in the shade Glitter Ghost. It's really white. It has a bit of green shift. They only sell uh, three of the shades on Sephora for some reason, but there are eight of them on the Too Faced website and they're on sale now. These are so much fun to wear. They last all day and all night. When all your other makeup is worn off, these sparkles are still hanging in. Zero fallout. And my friend thought I had snowflakes on my eyes. And anyway, it's, it's just so much fun to wear during the holidays. Really, really pretty. I wish I could get all the colors. This is by MAC. It's the Dazzle Shadow Liquid Eyeshadow. It's a metallic glitter. You can wear it alone or you can use it as a topper. It's really, really pretty. There's virtually no fallout. It's just super sparkly. They have nine different shades and they have a nine hour wear time. And this one is in the shade Flash and Dash. <laughs> what am I doing here? Such a professional swatch. I think we need to try that again a little bit better maybe. It's actually really easy to use when you're using it on your eyes. I really love products that give you a lot of glitter or shimmer and you don't have a whole bunch of fallout. It really is easy to use, I promise. This is the Hourglass Ghost Ambient Lighting Blush Quad. It's a limited edition, although they still have some available. Last year they sold out much faster. There's a natural to luminous formula throughout the palette. Great quality, great formula. Next is the Too Faced Gingerbread Extra Spicy Palette. This is old footage that I used from when the palette was brand new, but I've used it a lot since then. There's so many shades. You could do so many uh, different looks. The packaging is gorgeous. I think it would make a great gift for anyone that likes makeup. I will say though that it's supposed to smell like gingerbread. To me, it smells more like Play-Doh, but I really do love this palette anyway. This is Chanel White Shadow with Single Eyeshadow. It's from the Fall Winter 2019 collection. It's number 317 and it's limited edition. It's a very light white frosty shade that you can wear on its own or you can use it as a topper. If you want to add some sparkle for the holidays, this is a quick, easy way to do it. So frosty, so pretty. Oh, not this one. This is Glisten. This next one is even prettier and much more affordable. It's the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow. This one is in the shade Ritz. So many beautiful shades. <gasps> I was trying to hold it like a real YouTuber. Oh, now I can place an order on ColourPop to get more and I can get the coconut line. Yeah. The only thing I don't like about ColourPop is I just want it all. <laughs> This is a Nude Sticks Magnetic Eye Color 
With the Nude Sticks brand, whenever you hear the word magnetic, it means it's going to stay put all day, and believe me, it does. You can see it just has a little bit of a satin shine to it, and it's such a nice shade of green. I like to put this one on fast, and before it sets, I smoosh in the ColourPop Ritz on top of it. it holds all day. Perfect. This is Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Eyeliner. This one is in the shade Midnight Cowboy, and it's just another super fun one with no fallout. They have 14 different shades on the Sephora website. This is great to add a little sparkle to your look. And now the Makeup Forever Starlet Glitter Palette. This one is different and special to me, not just it's not just shimmer, but it's that, sh you know, that shimmer that dances around and moves around in the light. You are going to get a little tiny bit of fallout with this palette, but nothing major. It's so pretty. Oh, I just love this palette. It's not available anymore, but there's an updated version, even better. Boop! Now NARS Hardwired Eyeshadow Single in the shade GOA. It has a brown shift to it. They also have 18 other shades. You can wear it out or you can wear it every day. Do you guys notice that the trend this year for the holidays is green eyeshadow and teal? And I find last year it was all gold and the year before was so much red cranberry. Boop! Here we have the Natasha Denona Chrome Crystal Top Coat. You can wear it on its own or you can put it on top of whatever shadow you're wearing. You can put it on top of your lipstick too. It's so easy to use. It's really, really pretty but it's expensive. This one is more of a subtle, elegant, a bit of a, you know, a wet shine. It's, it's really, really beautiful, outstanding product. There's no fallout and it takes two seconds to apply. The Natasha Denona Gold Palette. I'm using old footage again from when the palette was brand new, but I'm telling you guys, I am amazed by this palette. I think this is the nicest palette I have ever owned. The shadows are amazing, so smooth. They blend like a dream, creamy. It doesn't add any texture. It lasts like nothing else I've tried. I don't know why I waited so long to get this palette. This palette came out over a year ago and one of the reasons that I hesitated to get it was because I already had the Natasha Denona Mini Nude Palette and you know, it's all right, but I find the big palette is so much better. If you've been on the fence about buying this palette, I say yes. This palette is my favorite holiday release. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Instant Look in a Face and Eye Palette and it's limited edition. They come out with a version of this palette every year at the holidays. I have one from a past year, but I find it's not pigmented enough. I like this new one much better. The new version just has beautiful tones and the way they match each other are just so perfect. So I'm gonna swatch by number in the order of the palette. So it's eyeshadow, eyeshadow, eyeshadow. And the bronzer is a lot more pigmented and richer. It's a bit warmer too, but it's not too warm. My favorite thing in the palette is this blush right here. I know it looks pretty pink in the pan and it swatches really pink, but it has a bit more of a berry or a wine tone to it. There's one thing I don't like about the palette though. I find the eyeshadow formula doesn't last on the eyes and after a while it just looks like you're wearing one color. I'm gonna keep working at it because I really do love the colors in this palette. At the price it costs, it should be performing at 100%, but I'm hooked on this palette. I just love the shades. This is the MAC Loose Glitter. It's easy to work with. It doesn't have that much fallout. And also for your eyes is this eyeshadow P for Pink. It's from last year's holiday collection. And the thing about MAC is if you buy the holiday collection one year, you don't have to buy it again. It's always the same thing year after year, just with different packaging, but it's really beautiful. And this is the Hourglass Scattered Light Glitter Eyeshadow. I find the name is perfect because this is another product where this, the glitter just dances in the light and I really, really love that. The pinky one is in the shade Reflect and the green is the shade Vivid. Next we have the Tom Ford Cream and Powder Eye Color. My favorite shade is Reflection. The bottom section is the cream. You put a little bit of this, it takes two seconds. On your lid, rub a little bit into your crease. This is the powder that's on the top. On your left is just the cream. In the middle is the powder, and on the right is the cream with a little bit of the powder. The quickest, easiest way to get such a beautiful look. I really don't like this one as closed. It looks terrible. I think I've talked enough for today. Please don't forget to check out my friend Heather on her channel. I'm going to link it below. And I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.